Hello everyone and welcome to a, a special little uh, featurette that I prepared for this um, digital release. Um, so uh, originally I had planned to kind of go through and see, um, similar to what I did with uh, Roommates the series and reveal like unused concepts or unused ideas that, you know, we didn't uh, end up doing uh, for the movie. Um, but uh, basically, you know, we really used a lot of what we created for the film uh, we used in, in the movie. Uh, anything that was extra was really just the original opening of the film, which I've been able to restore uh, in the extended cut. And, um, and the only other thing was the original ending. Um, we had written, uh, or we had all came up with an original uh, ending for the movie, which uh, Mike Pupo had, had written. Uh, that was his portion of the script that he had written. And uh, we ended up not utilizing uh, this ending because we came up with the... Well, actually, it was Brian and Mike who came up with the Sergio Leone-inspired uh, ending. Um, and I, I liked it. I thought it was fantastic. And so we ended up putting that into the movie and that became the ending. But I thought it'd be really interesting if, um, I tried to assemble something that resembled the original ending using voiceover, uh, just so you guys can have an idea of, uh, what the original ending would have been. So, uh, without further delay, here is, um, kind of an assembly, uh, you know, of what would have been the original ending for uh, roommates that we actually ended up not even filming to give you an idea so it, it was just an idea and we never even got past the idea stage but um all right guys well i hope you enjoy i think we're lost man we shouldn't have let greg drive Guys, I thought this is a shortcut. What? Greg alive? A twist ending? Coke Zero better than Diet Coke? What adventures are in store for the roommates next season? Exterior roommate's house. Day. Terry stands in the driveway. A car pulls up and Lewis jumps out. Your kids, Terry! Something's gotta be done about your kids! What? Time travel? Interior kitchen day. Rob eats a sandwich. Another Rob enters the shot. What? Twins? Exterior backyard day. Bo fights off several men dressed in black, throwing the last one into a pool. What? Ninja assassins and kung fu fighting? Interior house day. A shot of a pair of tits. He called me the princess brides. He named yours Fred. You're a slut. What? A spin-off show about tits? Exterior space. Lewis floats in space. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for man. <laughs> what? Out of space adventures? Interior Terry's room day. Lewis bursts in holding a large stomach. I'm pregnant with your baby! The experiment worked. What? Parodies of the film Junior with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito? Seriously, does anyone remember that movie? Interior Street Day. Bo runs down the street in slow motion. On the other side of the screen is a clock counting down. What? Intense slow motion with clocks counting down to build suspense? Interior Roommate's House Day. Terry sleeps on the couch. Louis farts in his face. What? Seriously? Another fart joke? Interior Bedroom Day. Rob lays in bed with several teen girls. You know, we are all only 17, right? Man, I don't care. Now let's make that shit clap tonight. What? Statutory rape? Interior house day. The roommates stand around entertaining guests. Lewis is at the center. Well, it is that I'm a gentleman, but never a gentle man. What? Sort of witty dialogue? Exterior backyard day. Lewis standing over the pool. Terry pointing a nerf gun at him. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. What? Lewis a fugitive? Terry hunting him down? Is that a nerf gun? Interior house day. The roommates run around firing staples at each other. Nigga, this is so wasteful. What? Don't they recycle? 
Interior street day. The roommates walking down the street arm in arm laughing, enjoying each other. What? Men holding hands? No gay? What else will they be holding next season? Interior Terry's room day. Chris looks into the camera. What? The guy who plays Terry does the voice of the narrator too? <laughs> Thanks for watching roommates. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching them as much as we've enjoyed making them. All the best. Brian stumbles into the room. Hey, Chris, <laughs> what are you doing in here, making a sex tape? Actually, I'm just finishing editing the show. That show sucks. The first five episodes have horrible direction. Second episode isn't that bad, though. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Chris, when do we get paid for all this acting we did? Chris looks around uncertain. Well, that's all from roommates. Best wishes. Chris gets up and runs out of the room. Don't let him get away! Banana hammock! No! Hey guys, so, um, this was something I thought would be really funny to include on the digital release. Um, but in the beginning of the movie, if you remember, uh, Bo has a term paper that he has to turn in, uh, for his professor. And that's kind of like what his whole arc in the film was. Uh, well, in order to kind of you know, have a cool prop for the film slash have, I guess, more motivation or I don't know. I guess I was just, I was really excited to be filming. Um, I actually wrote Bo's paper. <laughs> so uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny if I just went ahead and read it to you guys. It's a very short thing. Um, so anyway, without further delay, here is uh, Bo's paper that I wrote um, that was used as an actual prop in the film. I hope you guys enjoy. Hernando Michael Bo Oswald, Professor Hayes, Intro to Writing 3. Yo, foo, what up? Yeah, dog. so I'm hitting up the beach this weekend. That shit is gonna be tight, son. Yeah. Hello, Professor. I apologize for beginning my assignment with such stupidity. As I've discussed with you in the past, my roommates are still a problem for me in terms of expressing who I really am. I figured that none of my roommates would bother reading the paper past the first paragraph and would therefore not know of my true intentions with this paper. But without further delay, here is my true paper on my inner feelings as displayed creatively. Breakfast. A time of mourning. A time of fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger to... you've heard it before. I do not require a film to express my feelings or a six-part epic on that matter. Lightsabers can stab. My heart can bleed. Lunch. A time to reflect. No corn pops, but fruit loops. Fruity loops. Yummy yum. Yumbling. Humorous days. A beach. No bears there. A forest. Checkmate. Dinner. Blah blah. Excuse me, I puked. Paint with puke. Good idea. Better write it down. Botron Model 3000. Replaced. Botron Model 3001. Merely an upgrade. Blah. So yeah, Professor, that's how I feel. Thank you for allowing me to submit this paper the way I did. See you on Monday.